Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsbyHeather.com, where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we're going to look at contrast inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. I have also posted a link below to my upcoming workshop schedule. In a previous video, we took a look at the dehaze slider inside of Lightroom. We use this slider in order to remove any unwanted sun flare, improve the contrast, or remove haze or fog from an image. Now, unfortunately, this slider is only available to members who subscribe to the Creative Cloud. If you have a previous version of Lightroom, then you won't have access to this new feature, but that's okay. We're going to try to work around it. I'm gonna go ahead and double click this back to zero and create a virtual copy of this image by pressing Command apostrophe, that's Control apostrophe on the PC in order to create a virtual copy. Now I'm gonna to go to this first image and use the dehaze slider and pull up to show how this works. But what I'm gonna do next is go to this image and see if we can't mimic that same effect. And when this slider was introduced, a lot of people were saying, well, isn't that really just related to contrast or maybe the blacks and whites? But if you just increase the contrast, then this is the look you're going to get. It's not really the same thing. It's not gonna work, but you could pull down on the blacks and up on the whites and up on the contrast in order to get a similar look. Now I'm gonna pull down on the overall exposure a little bit. And now what I'd like to do is take a look at the photo previously where we used the dehaze slider. Let's increase the dehaze slider a little bit here. So this is the dehaze slider, and this is the blacks, whites, and contrast being used to mimic that effect, and it was a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull down on this contrast a little bit and up on the blacks. Again, pulling down on my exposure. Here we go. This is the dehaze slider. And let's take a look at the overall before and after with the dehaze slider. This photo is with the contrast pulled up and the blacks pulled down and the whites pulled up. Let's look at the before and after. And I think that actually does a pretty good job. Now, it is not the same thing as the dehaze slider because it targets different areas of the photograph. But until you upgrade to the Creative Cloud, I think this will work out for you. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.